Greetings, my brothers and sisters. Blessings to you in the love and the light of our one infinite creator. Now you may ask, I understand love from the creator, but what do you mean by light? Well, light is a wave and a particle. Light is the building block of the universe. You see, light is shaped in such and such a way in love by our logos to give an experience as a gift to our one infinite creator. There is unity. This unity is all that there is. This unity has a potential and kinetic. The potential is intelligent infinity. Tapping this potential will yield work. This work has been called by us intelligent energy. The nature of this work is dependent upon the particular distortion of free will, which in turn is the nature of a particular intelligent energy or kinetic focus of the potential of unity or that which is all. There is no difference, potential or kinetic, in unity. The basic rhythms of intelligent infinity are totally without distortion of any kind. The rhythms are clothed in mystery, for they are being itself. From this undistorted unity, however, appears a potential in relation to intelligent energy. In this way, you may observe the term to be somewhat two-sided. One use of the term, that being as the undistorted unity, being without any kinetic or potential side. The other application of this term, which we use undifferentially for lack of other term in the sense of the vast potential tapped into by foci or focuses of energy we call intelligent energy. Consider, if you will, that the universe is infinite. This has yet to be proven or disproven, but we can assure you that there is no end to yourselves, your understanding, what you would call your journey of seeking, or your perceptions of the creation. That which is infinite cannot be many, for manyness is a finite concept. To have infinity, you must identify or define that infinity as unity. Otherwise, the term does not have any reference or meaning. In an infinite creator, there is only unity. You have seen simple examples of unity. You have seen the prism, which shows all colors stemming from the sunlight. This is a simplistic example of unity. In truth, there is no right or wrong. There is no polarity, for all will be, as you would say, reconciled at some point in your dance through the mind-body-spirit complex, which you amuse yourself by distorting in various ways at this time. This distortion is not in any case necessary. It is chosen by each of you as an alternative to understanding the complete unity of thought which binds all things. 
you're not speaking of similar or somewhat like entities or things. You are everything, every being, every emotion, every event, every situation. You are unity. You are infinity. You are love, light, light, love. You are. This is the law of one. This must be defined against the background of intelligent infinity or unity or the one creator with the primal distortion of free will. The term love then may be seen as the focus, the choice of attack, the type of energy of an extremely, shall we say, high order which causes intelligent energy to be formed from the potential of intelligent infinity in just such and such a way. This then may be seen to be an object rather than an activity by some of your people. And the principle of this extremely strong energy focused being worshipped as the creator instead of unity or oneness from which all love emanates. Let us remember that we are all one. This is the great learning teaching. In this unity lies love. This is the great learned teaching. In this unity lies light. This is the fundamental teaching of all planes of existence materialization, unity, love, light, and joy. This is the heart of evolution of the spirit. Let us for a moment consider thought. What is it, my friend, to take thought? Took you then thought today? What thoughts did you think today? What thoughts were part of the original thought today? And how many of your thoughts did the creation abide? Was love contained and was service freely given? You are not part of a material universe. You are part of a thought. You are dancing in a ballroom in which there is no material are dancing thoughts. You move your body, your mind, and your spirit in somewhat eccentric patterns for you have not completely grasped the concept that you are part of the original thought. The one undifferentiated intelligent infinity, unpolarized Full and whole is the macrocosm of the mystery clad being. Unity, at this approximation of understanding, cannot be specified by any physics, but only be activated or potentiated intelligent infinity due to the catalyst of free will. This may be difficult to accept, however, the understandings I have to share begin and end in mystery. Let us give the example of the man who sees all the poker hands. He then knows the game. It is but child's play to gamble, for it is no risk. The other hands are known, the possibilities are known, and the hand will be played correctly, but with no interest. In time space, and in the true color green density, the hands of all are open to the eye. The thoughts, the feelings, the troubles, all these may be seen. There is no deception, 
and no desire for deception. Thus much may be accomplished in harmony, but the mind-body-spirit gains little polarity from this interaction. Let us re-examine this metaphor and multiply it into the longest poker game you can imagine, a lifetime. The cards are love, dislike, limitation, unhappiness, pleasure, etc. They are dealt and redealt and redealt continuously. You may during this incarnation begin, and we stress begin, to know your own cards. You may begin to find the love within you. You may begin to balance your pleasures, your limitations, etc. However, your only indication of other selves, cards, is to look into the eyes. You cannot remember your hand, their hands, perhaps even the rules of this game. This game is only won by those who lose their cards in the melting influence of love can only be won by those who lay their pleasures, their limitations, their all upon the table face up and say inwardly, all, all of you players, each other self, whatever your hand, I love you. This is the game, to know, to accept, to forgive, to balance, and to open the self in love. This cannot be done without the forgetting, for it would carry no weight in the life of the mind-body-spirit beingness totality.